Hey everyone, this is a Trader Investor. This morning, uh, first trading day in May 2021, I want to take a look at the four ETFs that I normally follow, the SPY, the Qs, the IWM and the Diamonds. And what we're starting to see is a gap up that is weak and going uh, to the downside. And what I mean by going to the downside, going weak is there's this gap that it wants to close just like it did last week, Thursday. It appears that's how we are setting up. Uh, and what I want to see then is a, a break of these lows will uh, give us our strengths to go down and fill this gap and maybe even further down. We don't know how far this will go. We'll just wait and see what price does. Of course, there's another possibility where the market wants to be really strong and break this highs and continue to drive up. Continue to drive up, but I would be a little bit cautious as this could act as a headwind. The, because this all time highs, the 320.72 area are all time highs. And does price want to close above that or is price just trying to show a little bit of a weakness after the gap up and going to reverse price we're going to see we wait and see let the price tell us what the price wants to do we're not in a hurry to enter any trade queues queues have already closed this gap so for now what i would like to see uh, looking at the longer term what I would like to see is this this highs here. They're not too far away from uh, the 15 minute range high. That is from last week's 15 minute range high and then the previous week on Wednesday's 15 minute range high. So the queues are not my strongest to trade today. So I'm not really looking at anything significant unless we start to break this area here. If we broke break uh, Friday's low and then retest it and keep going down then i will consider entering a put position in the queues but for now uh, not my strongest for an entry the iwm is playing around two areas of potential liquidities now the previous one the one above here has already been mitigated and taken care of so not really of concern there but here we have an area of support. I want to see what price does in relation to the support and also what price does at the high of, uh, of Friday. So if price has a strong momentum up, then you know we have a solid entry here in IWM. In the diamonds, the diamonds uh, were very weak last week, but showing a good sign of strength this week if we go to the one hour chart as you can see the diamonds now wants to it appears they want to recapture all-time highs so we're seeing some strengths there so uh, i want to see price continue to drive up continue to drive up and this line here that we're up against is the last week's high so we're at last week's high if we continue to drive up last week's high, I want to see then strengths again. I want to see price break above it, test it and continue. Otherwise, this could be a sign of strong resistance that will drive price down towards this liquidity area. Towards this liquidity area, we could bounce off towards this liquidity area that we can break and go down. So there's a few possibilities for not just today, for this week. Again, it's, it's all about being patient. It's all about entering when we have the right setup and not forcing a trade. So let's not force a trade. So that's uh, how we are setting up. And uh, last week I did a video on Netflix. I just want to quickly review it here. What I mentioned is we have terminal checkout we have E1 setting up and today is, is a down day. So we, we don't have a confirmation of uh, E2 here and we don't have confirmation of E3. So we are not seeing this yet. 
it doesn't mean we're not going to get it. That's not what it means. It just means the markets are moving, you know, to the downside today, but this could act as a very strong area that price reverses from and continue its upward movement. So I'm just going to watch Netflix. I, I want to have an entry in Netflix, but I don't want to enter prematurely. I want to really make sure that this accumulation zone is completed and we have an entry and my target is going to be the recent uh, high uh, areas where price rejected from after earnings. So that's what I want to target uh, as my target one. And as I said last week, 370 to 380 area is something that I am looking at over the next few weeks. That's that's the potential. That's how it's uh, going to set up if this accumulation holds and we have this move up and it's clear to see on the hourly we have this imbalance we need to close we need to test this and continue to price to drive price up that's what i'm looking at in netflix netflix would be nice setup uh, now tesla and amazon i will not uh, spend a lot of time uh, this week analyzing them yet because the options are extremely expensive and as i bring you some knowledge and some education i want to show you where options are reasonable to enter and tesla uh, right now had a strong up move from some order blocks down here and now i want to see this price holding i want to see this holding for us to continue up otherwise we're gonna close below this order block and continue to drive down so that's why not in so much of a hurry to uh, look at this big names yet because they're, they're pretty expensive and amazon just uh, just real quick let's look at amazon amazon had a good earning but price just keeps keeps collapsing price keeps collapsing and uh you know if we look at spy spy is not holding the opening price SPY continues to be weak. If we look at the ES, ES overnight had a high of uh, almost 4200 and so we want to make sure that uh, we can break above that for this trend to be strong to move up in the all-time high territories. That's what we want to see but for now we're seeing some weakness and I'm gonna see what kind of position we will have during the 15 minute entry keep in mind keep in mind that we have some uh, strong areas like this high of last week we're above the high of last week what are we going to do above that high of last week as we close this gap so uh, this is this kind of areas is where manipulation could happen so you could see this and while you think it's going to go down, you could see this. While you think it's going to come back, it's going to, it could do this. could do this or it could do this, right? So this is an area that I'm going to watch carefully. All right, everyone, take care and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like my videos as that would be a way for you to tell me, hey, keep doing this job. Uh, we're encouraged. This is, uh, we're learning from it. That's how I'm getting my encouragement. So please don't forget to do that. Take care, everyone.